I've been coming to this area since I was a child and um, my father came when he was a child because it's beautiful and there's lots of things going on and actually uh, it's got a very happy feel to it. It's a little pocket which actually stands out like a little light at the edge of the coast um, compared to much of the rest of the county and it has developed and grown over the years. There is a momentum in, in this very small area of a, a buoyant economy. And if you take away even just 10%, frankly, you're taking away a lot of what is the potential difference between su success and failure. Things thriving and things diminishing, really. 10% yeah. is a big hit. Yeah, it's, not a mar it's not a marginal hit. And the trouble is, is it then compounds, it compounds. It's, things diminish, things drop off. And then that, the whole thing can go into reverse. And a lot of areas uh, around our coasts have, have turned into you know, disadvantaged areas. Yes. You're bringing little feeders in all over the place, which are hugely disruptive locally. It just doesn't sound to me that, that a series of those individual points coming into the country uh, is, a, is a cheaper solution than a ring main which has been well organised and well coordinated. But it needs coordination which of course is where the government has to come in. The fact that it's been done in Netherlands and America would encourage one to say that at least it needs a serious you know, consideration. The other thing is the whole argument we're having is, is about green energy. So we're doing you know, one thing with one hand and then doing exactly the opposite and contradicting it with the other hand. There's no argument that, that this is a green way of dealing with it. There are problems on two fronts, really. It's, it's, a, it's a, 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 a dirty solution and it's a, a solution which is frankly going to be hugely disruptive.